few of my students today brought up the issue of nuclear weapons and what is the ruling on nuclear weapons, the initial ruling of scholars. And that's something that we actually studied in a class on modern fic issues in Al Azhar, I remember it. And I'm just going to summarize what I recall that based on numerous texts that forbid wanton killing, like the Prophet saying that it's not allowed السلام, to poison the water supply of people because that would lead to wanton killing, the killing of children, of, of women, of the elderly. Of religious figures, that wanton killing, when it's brought together, would lead us to believe that weapons of mass destruction are forbidden, specifically the atom bomb or the nuclear bomb in this discussion. So initially, scholars across the board, Sunni and Shia, largely said that these things were forbidden. It wasn't really till the Cold War takes off and you have the proliferation of nuclear weapons that you see a change. And here scholars actually clearly say that as a means of defense and to protect one's sovereignty, there's no choice but to have them. However, it's not allowed to use them as like offensive weapons. It's just a means to balance power. So it's very interesting and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us tabat and to help us to be allies to the earth, not enemies to it. Barakallahu feekum. But I hope that helps.